Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is my iPhone 6S Plus, and this is a dbrand skin. dbrand was nice enough to send this along, and I thought I'd make this video because a lot of you asked what skin I had on my 6 Plus. And I did a separate video for dbrand, and it was a little more artsy, and I thought I'd show you how this actually goes on, and what it's like to install and show you what it looks like. This is the matte black option. I really like this option. And then they send you a couple different options with it. So you've got this one skin. This is the one I'm going to use. And what it does is it covers right here. And then they give you the top and bottom. And you can either just cover this portion or have the wraparound skins. And then we have full protection here if you want to use this. So you can screw this up a couple times and you've got a couple extras there. Or you can use these, and that's what I'm going to use, is this skin and these top two, which I like the look of that the most. This adds a little bit of grip, and this is the matte black. And they have carbon fiber and different looks, such as natural wood and all sorts of things. This particular variant comes in, I think, around $10 to $15 plus shipping. So it's pretty inexpensive. They all use 3M material, and it sticks really well. My previous one stayed on a long time. So what you need is a couple simple things. They actually include a little microfiber cloth to clean off any grease or debris on the back. I've already done that uh, using a different cloth, but they include this with it. And what you do is just wipe the device down. Make sure your hands are clean before you install this. You want to get all the oil off that you can. And then you just start installing it on the back. And I'll put this under the screen just to protect it a little bit better as it slides around a little bit. The other thing you'll need is a hair dryer, and that helps you get this around the corners. So the first thing we're going to do is put this piece on, and then we'll move to the hair dryer. So you just peel this back. And it can take some time to do. And you can see there's a little crosshatch here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little crosshatch in there, and that allows air to escape. And what we'll do is place this like this, real simply, and we'll line up the apple. And you want to make sure you have bright light, and you can just peel it off like this. Make sure you have really bright light when you're doing this. I have this part all aligned, so I'm just going to pull this piece back and bring it down and you're going to push from the center out when you start to smooth. Now we're not going to do the sides yet. We're going to heat those up before we do that. So we're just going to push out from the center, get everything kind of aligned and set upright. And then we're going to move on to the sides. So we're going to heat this side up using a hair dryer next. I've got my hair dryer here. I'm just going to put it on low, heat the side up and then we'll work it around. The sides heated up a little bit, so we're just going to push from the center out, fold it around the buttons and make sure it's right. And if you've got it right, they should fit just about as perfect as you can get. That's this side is done, and I'm just going to run my thumbnail down here to kind of smooth everything out, make it nice and make sure it's nice and stuck there. And you can see down the side here, everything looks really nice. I'm going to move over to the other side now. I have this side heated up, so now I'm just going to work it over just like I did the other one. And you can see it's about as perfect as you can get. I'm going to make sure both sides are like that down the sides here. Make sure the skin is, is smoothed out and stuck nice and, and complete. And then we'll work on the back pieces as well. Now that I have the sides wrapped around, I'm going to move on to the top and bottom pieces. Now, like I said before, you can choose from these pieces that I'm going to use or these bottom pieces that fully wrap around. I kind of like these and they take a little bit more time to install properly, but they look really nice when they're done. If you look at the bottom of my phone, it's actually scuffed just from setting it down. And then the top part where the camera is, is scuffed just from setting it. The lens is okay, but everything else uh, is getting a little bit of wear. So this will help protect that and keep that from happening. So let's move on and put these on. We'll start with the bottom one. It's a little bit easier to install and just, you want to take your time doing this. The skin has been fully applied to the back. It looks really good and you can see everything is cut perfectly. If I bring this up here, 
You'll see around the camera, around the microphone and the flash, and just around these antenna lines, everything looks really, really nice. And if you want a little bit more protection, you can just use this one. It takes a little bit more time to install because of these pieces that cover the upper edges. But just take your time and it will come out really nice. These look fantastic. In fact, I get a lot of people asking me where I got them. Even at the Apple Store, people have said, asked me what's actually on the back of my device. So dbrand is making some really good products and they're pretty inexpensive. So you can try a couple if you want to see something different. When you do take them off, it does ruin them because they stretch quite a bit. Uh, but they add quite a bit of grip to the back of the phone, especially considering it's pretty slippery aluminum to begin with and they don't fit really well in cases. So if you're trying to put this on and then want to put a case on top, you might have some issues with the button distance. So it does recede or make the button recessed a little bit more than it normally is. You can feel it, but it's, it's just a little bit more of a, a push, especially for the volume buttons. So when you put a case on it, it does affect that a little bit. But other than that, they're one of my favorite skins. They also make front skins for these as well if you want to put that around. I prefer to leave it off and either leave this bare or put a screen protector on it. But you can do whatever you want as far as that goes. But I really like these. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And they're again, they look fantastic. I think you'll be pretty happy with them if you take your time and put them on nicely. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.